how to check the sales of your Amazon product individually or by variation. This is the most common question which I've got on my comment box like many of the beginners don't know like how they can actually check the sales for their Amazon store for each product or the complication occurs when they are having multiple variation. For example, if they are selling a shoe and this shoe is having a different variation for different sizes and color. Let's suppose they are selling a shoes having a black color, white color and a yellow color and having three sizes, small, medium and large. So when they check on the order section, they can see the combination of all of sales of the shoe. But if they want to see like how much they sold small yellow or how much they sold large red or medium black, so they don't know how to do this. So in this video, I'm going to explain you each and everything about sales, like from where you can check those sales, how you can check those sales for each variation and everything you need to know. So if you also want to learn, then stick around with me by the end of this video so you can also know how you can do it. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply, so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year, I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December, which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon Seller Center right now and from here on the left side, I can just click on this navigation bar and from here, I can just click on this report section and then business reports. So this is the number one way to check the sales and the second way is to go to orders and click on manage orders. So as you can see here from this manage order section, you can see the order name, order number, for which product you got that order and how many hours ago. You can see that this is 21 hours ago, 20 hours ago, 11, 4 and 3. So from this page, you can only see the orders. And if you want to see the order for seven days or 30 days, so you can see that on this drop down menu, it's showing for last day, like we got five order last day for this product. So if we change for three day, you can see that 10 orders for three day and uh, for seven day, it's showing 23 orders. So from this page, you can just see the orders, not the total value, not any filter and not anything about variation. So to do so, you just need to go on business report which we just opened earlier in this video. So from this business report, you need to go down and here you can see it's showing us the sales for today, which are two. So if we drop down this menu and click on custom, so from here, you can just select any date range from which you need to see the sales for this whole account. So for example, let's say if I want to see the sales from 1st January till today, so I just need to click on this 1st January on this first tab and on the second tab, I just keep this as 13th January. So after selecting the date from 1st to 13th, I just need to click on apply and from here you can see it is showing us the sales for past 13 days, which is 47 units and total 41 sales and the revenue was $2,429. But this sale is also for the whole account. Like on this whole account on past 13 days, I got 47 order and this revenue. But what if I want to know the sales for each variation? Because in this account, I'm having three product and each product is having four variation. So that means 12 variation we are having. So if I need to know like for which variation I got how many units sold. So for that, I need to go on left and you can see that I need to click on this last link, which is detailed page sales and traffic by child item. So it will show us all of the sales for each and every child of that parent variation. And if you want to see only the parent variation sales, then you can just click on this parent item. But for now, we need to click on this child item link. So let's see. So here you can see that after clicking on this child item, I can see all of these variation. And when I scroll left, so you can see that there are multiple columns like total sessions, session total percentage, total units order and total item order. So you can see that it's showing the revenue for each variation, number of units for each variation, click through rate and each and every detail about each and every individual variation for this product. So for example, if I want to see the data for this variation number one, so here you can see that in this date range, I got 1170 impression like I got 1170 total sessions like in this date range 1170 people click on that listing and visit that listing and out of those only 29 people purchase and the revenue was $1540. So that means these are the number of buyers which have already purchased and this was the revenue. And if we want to see the click to purchase ratio here it is like 2.48%. So from this page, you can just check each and everything for each and every variation. So let's say if we see the second variation. So for the second variation, I got 21 sales and the revenue was $774. And for third variation, 20 sales and fourth variation, 12 sales, 10 sales, 9 and so on. 
So from this tab, you can just find out the sales for each and every variation for your product, like how much people click on, on which variation, how many people purchase from which variation, and what was the individual revenue for each variation. So this page actually helps you a lot in analyzing your account. So you can just do your analysis properly and make more profit and more sales. And the good thing about this is you can just click on this download CSV button and then you can just open that downloaded file on Excel and you can just put some filters, sort out the data and you can just do multiple things on Excel from that data. So this is actually a good thing about this page which I really love. So I hope at this point you know how to check the variation sale for your Amazon product. So now after today you can just do it easily. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.